Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming, I'm Brianna White and today a brand new trailer for Final Fantasy 16. It just dropped last night at the Game Awards and it has a name, Revenge. Very ominous. I don't really know what it means, but we're going to find out when we watch this trailer together. Now, I don't really have a really good sense about what Final Fantasy 16 is. Um, I'm excited to learn more. I hope this trailer will bring some more. We do know that it's, you know, brought by the same creative lead as Final Fantasy 14, which is a game I deeply love. And we know that it's a more traditional Western medieval fantasy. We also know that the story is really deeply entwined with the idea of the summons like Bahamut and Ifrit and Titan and how it's connected with people like the dominance, I guess our hosts of some kind. I don't really know the, the details about that yet, but I'm excited to learn more. I hope this trailer brings more juicy goodness. Um, and obviously I'm hyped and uh, yeah, let's just, let's just watch this trailer together. Here we go. <laughs> Take Joshua and get to safety. I'm not going without you. I'm going to hold the enemy here while you make your escape. Your Highness! Run! No! Clive! Joshua! Okay, so that's a moment that we have seen before in a previous trailer. Some combat, good. It looks gorgeous to start. Dynamic, different abilities. Love that. Revenge is a weapon. Hmm. Seems like Shiva. I sometimes wonder if I am controlling it, or if it's controlling me. Mm -hmm. Classic revenge theory. Some Garuda. The sense of scale in this game is really intense, I feel. Which is something that was done really well in Final Fantasy XV as well. Okay, so here you have the summons battling. Summons, I keep calling these summons, but in this game they're icons. Let's talk. Um, it seemed like a little bit of a good combination between um, lots of combat and gameplay with a lot of the story elements, which I love in a trailer. You have to have everything. And then, of course, there's the beautiful graphics and then the amazing epic music. So it had all the good things that a good trailer has to like get your blood pumping. I feel super hyped, very excited. Um, but at the same time, I feel like I just, I feel like I have a really hard time like with these characters. I don't feel like I know them yet. I don't feel like they've grasped me yet, but I don't doubt that they will. I just, I'm not there yet, you know? I still don't know who this little boy is or like his importance to the story, but I want to. Um, and I think he shouts out here, right at the end here when he's about to be attacked, he shouts out Clive. Let me let me rewatch that a little bit. Your Highness! Run! No! Clive! Joshua! 
So Clive and Joshua seem like, to me, perhaps the representations of these two icons, because I think Joshua connects with the Phoenix, and then that would be Clive that connects with Ifrit, or Ifrit, as I've always called him. Um, so that could be, you know, these two integral characters, which I'm excited to learn more about, but I still don't really feel like I know that much yet, but I'm desperate for more morsels, which I'm sure you all are too. Um, yeah, so Revenge is really interesting because the last trailer was Ambition, and the last trailer was kind of about all the different kingdoms and how they're all vying for power using um, crystals, and we still don't really know too much in depth about that, but this is maybe a little bit more about a personal vendetta rather than kind of overarching like kingdom desires. I'm not really sure about that. Um, but of course, this looks like, nope, I thought it was Leviathan for a second, but it doesn't look like Leviathan. It looks like some kind of, well, the face looks a lot like Leviathan, and Leviathan is kind of a dragon, but this is a little bit more of like a winged dragon. I don't know if this is like a different take on Leviathan or what. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's interesting because watching this, I do get that vibe of, Final Fantasy 15, which I said earlier, because of the the scale of of one of the greatest concepts in Final Fantasy 15 that I feel like a lot of people didn't really talk about because maybe they just there was a lot bogging down that story. But with Final Fantasy 15, what they did really well was they made the god the gods feel like this huge this huge concept that is so much bigger than you. The summons were bigger than you. And you, a human, were just a small little insignificant speck in this battle. You were just a pawn. And so I feel like with, with scale as a concept, both visually is stunning, fantastic, but also is a narrative concept um, because that brings in this, this thing that, of course, all Final Fantasy, all Final Fantasies grapple with the idea of fate versus free will. How much of the decisions we make as people matter? How much do they make a difference in our lives versus us just being puppets of fate? And so I feel that very intrinsically woven into the concepts of this trailer. And I'm sure that the whole overarching narrative and game and story will grapple with those things as well, as always. Um, and scale is a really excellent way to do that. It's also just a visual treat, you know. Um, and it's something that resonates really deeply with us because I think a lot of times when people are going through struggle, it does feel bigger than you. It does make you feel small when you're struggling with something. These lofty concepts of war and and suffering. I think I think that it could bring in some. Oh, this see this gives me Final Fantasy fourteen. I think his name is Odin vibes, which is really interesting. There's there's so much here that reminds me of Final Fantasy fourteen. That's no surprise. But it is a good thing because Final Fantasy XIV is one of the most played games in the world. So to be able to draw upon the, I don't want to call it nostalgia, but the familiarity and the comfort of villains that you fought before and, and visuals that you already kind of intrinsically know. Um, we do know that people just tend to like the familiar, but we like it when it's remixed. So we, we love a good remix of a pop song because it's familiar, we know it, but also it's, it's new. It's a good blend of new and old. And so I think this is going to do a really good job of drawing upon that idea and, and blending what seems familiar from Final Fantasy XIV and um, some new things, some new characters. And of course, that's something Final Fantasy always does anyway because of its setting in a traditional Western medieval fantasy setting uh, with, you know, stone castles and, you know, broadswords and things like that with these, these, this, 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 um, a fantastical creature that did not exist in medieval times. 
Um, and they even like directly mentioned like the year that this was set in, which I think is really interesting too. So uh, definitely displayed a lot of different abilities here, um, which I think is great and super important because variability in combat helps it feel dynamic. Having a, a style of combat that you can really tailor make to yourself as a player is super important, I feel like, these days for action adventure RPG style games. Um, so it seems like maybe they might be going that direction. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm generally very optimistic about the direction this game is headed. I would say for me, I just the only thing is I really want to deeply connect with these characters and I just haven't yet but I'm sure we'll get there. We have not too long now, six months, seven months, June 22nd. That's our release date. We finally got that, which is really, really, really exciting because I know a lot of people were on the edge of their seats hoping that summer of next year wasn't gonna be like the beginning of September. <laughs> so this is, this is awesome. I feel really good. It's a good time to be a Final Fantasy fan, isn't it? Mm. Isn't it a great time to be a Final Fantasy fan? Let me know what you think in the comments. What stood out in this trailer to you? Is there anything that I personally missed that you'd like me to comment on? Please let me know. That always happens with trailers like these. So let's just talk about it. Let's just have a little discussion together in the comments. And uh, I look forward to that quite a bit. So we're gonna end it here. Please remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. Anything you can do to engage with my content always helps me grow and I appreciate it so much. And of course, if you're interested in seeing more from my little channel, you can subscribe to Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. That's all. I love you all. <laughs>